So let me ask, how many people do you know who have been touched by cancer? Maybe you have it or you've beaten it. There are endless stories of hope that we could tell you, but tonight we want to highlight a two time cancer survivor who now spends her holidays giving back to the place she says saved her life. Every morning when Mary Clark wakes up, she joins her husband Dick for coffee at the kitchen table. Sometimes out their window, they see this. The sparrow is a bird that, despite its small size, symbolizes power, peace, and persistence. Signs of strength that Mary says she gets once in a while from her late brother. I had told my brother I wanted a sign from him before, just before he passed. And this sparrow came and sat right on the very top of the tree. Mary and Dick Clark raise horses in Gowanda. They have three grown children and four grandchildren. Now life is peaceful, but it hasn't always been easy. My mother died from breast cancer when I was a kid, and that has always been in the back of my mind. That wasn't the last time cancer touched Mary's life. She and her brother were both diagnosed in the same year, 2008. Paul died of leukemia two years later. Mary survived her breast cancer. Now she's in remission. Mary's ringing the bell today. Woohoo! Proud to have rung the victory bell at Roswell to mark the end of her treatment after her second bout with the disease in 2019. And I was not aware that there are so many different types of breast cancer either. I thought breast cancer was breast cancer, but no, it's not. We spoke to Mary last year, shortly after her diagnosis and mastectomy. She talked about her favorite annual tradition, bringing her French Percheron horses to Roswell Park at Christmas time, offering up carriage rides to patients and visitors during the Tree of Hope celebration. This year, of course, like almost everything else, things are different. I can hold it. Hey, Jay. We'll miss being there, actually being there and interacting with the people there. It's one of the things that we have done over the years that we get so much satisfaction from. Mary says her experience battling cancer at Roswell and the doctors and nurses she's met over the years have changed her life. And they are such caring people and it, it makes you really appreciate what they do and kind of makes you think about what you can do for someone else. Her message to others? If you think something is wrong and the mammogram doesn't show it, don't, don't just drop it because mine did not show up on mammogram or the ultrasound. So you should always follow your instincts. Mary's instincts are the reason she's here today, still finding strength and courage from her beloved brother every day. What a beautiful story, Maria. I yeah. know you agree and great advice from Mary. You know, be a great uh, steward of your own health care. Get things checked out. Yeah. Don't wait. We're so fortunate to have an institution like Roswell where, man, they will get on it and uh, you will get peace of mind at the very least. Absolutely. So a